Hello, this is Michael with Access Woodworks, and today we are going to work on the handle for our custom chucking scraper. I've already mounted up the crepe myrtle that I'm going to be using to turn the handle out of. Uh, notice I have covered my skin up. I'll be wearing gloves, respiration, and a face mask because I found that I am pretty allergic to this particular wood. However, I do like using it because it does result in a very nice, clean, pretty handle. The, the grain is very tight and it has an interesting look to it. Um, plus it's free because we have plenty of it around here. So, of course you can use whatever wood that you would like. So the handle length I have chosen is about 16 inches. I've compared a couple of different um, turning tools that I have and I do like the longer handle. Um, over the over these shorter ones I do feel like it gives you better control um, they all generally have the same shape of course when you turn your own tools you can make the handle whatever shape you want um, but I'm gonna model it off this handle I, I, I like this and I think it gives me pretty good good control on the lathe um, so I'm gonna use this handle shape for our chucking scraper um, the piece of wood I've cut is about 20 inches long we only need about 16 inches so the first step in this process is I'm going to need to mount this brass fitting to the end so I can have a ferrule. Uh, so I'm going to turn down the very end of this uh, till it's the right size that I can thread this on. And then we'll epoxy it in place. And once that cures, then we'll finish turning the handle. So let's try and thread this on the end here and uh, let's just see if I can get this to help me out a little bit. smell some good stuff there mm -hmm. sure we got a good cut on the inside here okay you know before I put that on there let me make sure I've got a nice clean edge. All right, 
so we'll just let that cure up make sure there's no epoxy on this either It'd suck if you epoxy that together okay so now that we have our our ferrule epoxied on uh, we're going to finish turning the handle and then uh, we'll work on the ferrule and get that to shape Okay, so that's it for the handle. Um, we turned down our wood, sanded it nice and smooth, epoxied our ferrule onto the end, uh, and turned that down starting with a really coarse file, moving to a finer file, and then I sanded this down with various grits of sandpaper down to about 600 grit to put a nice shine on it. So that's it for this video. Please subscribe below and we'll see you in the next video where we assemble the scraper blade and handle.